visit astlessons.com for lyrics and chords, sheet music, tablatures, useful links, and much more. Hi, so I'm Robert from AST Lessons. Today I'm going to show you how to play Riptide with Vance Joy. The key is A sharp minor and the average tempo is somewhere around 100 BPM, although he plays it quite freely. This tutorial is for the album version, but I will also include a few things from live performances. As always, I will cover everything and go into details, but I will also show you how to make it easier. In the very last part, I will also show you how you could adapt the song if you rather use a guitar. The main focus will be on playing it with the same tuning as Vance does, but I also decided to add demonstrations and chords in regular C6 tuning. There are two reasons for this. The first is that I wanted to give you the option, and the second is that I had major tuning issues in the lower tuning. I also added a specific part about this, where I explain and demonstrate why I got these problems, since some of you will experience the same. So before we start, I recommend that you pause the video and check the description. There you can see how the video is organized along with clickable timestamps. Alright, so on all the live versions I found, he uses open G6 tuning, which looks like this. The errors simply mean that you tune it down from regular tuning and not up. So the four strings sound something like this. But on the album version, he tuned it to half step higher, so it looks like this instead. Since the main focus is on the album version, and the fact that I have a soprano ukulele, I will use this tuning in the video. But the chords, however, are written in open G6 tuning, just to keep it simple. And to be clear, the chords also work in regular C6 or D6 tuning, or any other with the same intervals for that matter. The shapes will be the same, but they will have different names, so keep that in mind later when I go through the chords. You should also be aware that the smaller ukuleles could be harder to keep in tune when using the lower tunings. But of course this is also depending on the quality of your instrument and the strings. Okay, now to the first three chords, starting with A minor. Next is G. I recommend using the little finger, but in these parts you can also use the ring finger. And then a C.
Sometimes when playing live, he used this variation of C during the verses and pre-choruses. He also used it on the album version, but only in the later parts of the song. When it comes to strumming patterns in these parts, he only used one, and it sounds like this. Slowly. On the LC plus paper, which looks like this, I've written numbers after some of the chord names. This tells you how many rounds of the patterns you play on each of the chords. No number simply means one round. And I have also underlined where you strum the chord once and let it ring. For example, here in the end of the pre courses. So the choruses is played with the same chords and in the same order. What differs is the strumming. The main pattern sounds like this. And slowly. And then once when playing live, I heard him alternating with this secondary pattern. And slowly. So you can use that too if you want more variation. So the basic idea of muting or percussive strumming with your right hand is to put it over the strings at the same time you do the strum. In this song it's more like a percussive sound so the position of the hand isn't that important. Just put it somewhere between the bridge and the sound hole in a way that's comfortable. But if you want to keep it simple, you could also skip it, so the two patterns sounds like this instead. Number one, and slowly. Number two, and slowly. The interlude is this part between the second chorus and the stick. He just repeats this little melody four times. And if we put them together a bit faster, it sounds like this. I marked it on the LC Plus paper, and it's also available on tablature on the PP paper. And if you don't want to play it, you can, for example, play like two to four rounds of patterns. We we'll just go straight to the stick. Last detail, between the last two courses on the second round of the C, he plays like this.
All right, so I'm now going to walk it through it very slowly, starting with A minor. The plus means that you add a little finger, third fret, fourth string. So the first two bars sounds like this. Then for G sus4, we leave these two fingers and release the other two. On the third down strum, you also release the index finger, making it a G. Then you add these two, making it the second variation of C, and play this pattern two times. And then F major 7, it's easier if you repeat this pattern two times. And then follow that with this. And the second half is almost the same. The only difference is on the F major 7, where you now strum the chord once and let it ring. When playing live, he switches it up sometimes in the stick, and here is some of it. One thing is to replace the F major 7 with the F add 2. Another thing is to start the A minor and C without holding down the 2nd fret on the 1st down strum, and then adding it on the 2nd, like this. And also, he plays around a lot with the 3rd fret, 4th string, just adding it and removing it when he feels like it. Okay, so in this version I have removed additions and offbeat chord switching, and I recommend that you either mix or choose one of these two patterns. Number one, and slowly. Number two, and slowly. And now I'm gonna walk you through the easy version using number one. If any of the chords feels new, just pause the video. So first, two rounds of A minor. Then one round of G sus4. Followed by one round of G. And after that, two rounds of C, this variation of C. And then two rounds of F major 7. And that's the first round. And then you just repeat that until you reach F major 7 again. And now, instead of playing two rounds, you just drum the chord once.
First of all, the ukulele in itself, as well as the strings, is optimized for a certain tuning and pitch, but when you also have a lower price model like this one, that can barely hold the tuning in regular C6 or D6 tuning, it doesn't get easier. One problem you can get is that it retunes itself as you're playing, but another problem is tuning it to begin with. And here is why. Listen to the pitch as I gradually press the frets harder and then keep playing. So to try calculating how hard you will press the frets and how much the pitch will change is not an easy thing to do. And add to that the fact that we also mix with open strings. So for those of you with the same problem as me, you might be better off in regular tuning. So for this reason I have made extra papers in C6 tuning, which is also available on the website.
Okay, so here is two ways you can play this on guitar. The first is to play with regular guitar chords, which means that the verses, pre-choruses and choruses, is played with the chords like this, A minor, G, and C. Then for the stick, we also have this variation of C. And F major 7. Or F add 2, if you rather play that. And then, as a G sus 4, we play a G add 4. If you want to play the interlude, you can play it like this. But other than that, just watch the walkthroughs for strumming and other information, which is the same for guitar. And of course, you can also add the 3rd fret E string on the A minor in the stick. To get the same key as album version though, you have to put the capo on the 1st fret. And the second way of playing the song is to use the bottom 4 strings of the guitar and play the chords as if it was a ukulele. You can also do something silly that I came up with, which is to fold a piece of paper and put it under the first two strings. This will muffle them, which allows you to strum freely. <laughs> 